Hi guys, thank you so much for watching as always. Um, I'd like to apologise for the fact that my videos haven't been going up as regular as normal. Um, I've had a bit of a break. Um, only reason why is because I actually lost my voice. Um, it's still not 100% at the moment. Um, but I've came down with a bit of a cold. Um, yeah, so it's been causing me a bit of havoc over the last couple of days. Well, over the last week, really. Um, but it's got really, it got really bad over the last three days. It was keeping me up all night and obviously I lost my voice completely. Um, it's coming back now though and I feel a little bit better. Um, so what we're going to do today is, um, what I want to do actually is just finish these walls off. Um, if you've been following the series you'll know that, you'll well, you'll get an idea when I've um, done this bit of the wall. We'll have a good fly around and have a look at exactly the size and scale of this place because it's absolutely massive now. So what we need to do is we need to fill this bit of the wall in. It's going to be a bit tricky because it's not in the normal dimensions of any schematics that I have. So what we'll do is we'll um, do a jump cut now to MC Edit and we'll have a look at exactly how we can do it. And we've got a couple of ideas but it'll take a bit of messing around. Okay, so I'll see you after the jump cut. Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to get a section of wall in here. As you can see what I've done on the floor here is my usual um, putting down markers. Uh, the orange just was gives me an idea of the length of the wall because what it's count the spaces and then the blue blocks um this was just me finding the middle um these two blocks here and them two blocks there at the middle so when we try put a piece of wall down now um we know where roughly it needs to go so let's have a look at because the problem is that some of the walls are too thick uh, sorry too wide so what we're going to do is we're going to play around with a couple of the schematics and see if we can actually get it to work i'm not sure how i'm going to do this um um, mid wall strut maybe. Let's try that one. No, that's just a strut itself. I do forget sometimes. Forget that. Um, do, 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 input again. Um, small wall section. No, one but small wall. Main tower. No, large wall. Let's try the large wall. Okay, yeah, this is pretty much more like it. Uh, I'll have to uh, rotate it because, as always, we need the um, shields on the outside. There we go. So we know what, we want it to fit in here, and we want the centre to be there. So as long as it fits with the wall. So what we need to do is, but we need to resize it, um, which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass, to be fair. Um, hmm, how are we going to do this? In fact, what we, what we should have done, really. I've got an idea. One second. Let's have a go here. Right. What we're going to do is, uh, should I do that? Um, select chunks, no. Um, no, I want to replace them. Fill and replace with stone. Fill. So let's have a quick look at that. I should have done this really inside Minecraft, but I didn't think at the time. Right, yeah, so that gives me an idea of where that bit of the wall is. Okay, yeah, we can run with that. And we'll do the same for this side. Uh, bloody phone. Um, so, guys, let's do a jump cut. I'll speak to you in a sec. Hi, guys. Uh, welcome back um, from your probably... 0.1 second delay there. Um, I've been gone for about 45 minutes on the phone, unfortunately. Uh, so the plan was uh, we were going to fill up section of the wall. I'm just waiting for this to load the chunks in. It's taking forever for some reason because I've got a bit of an idea. I want to see if it will work. I want to take a schematic of this uh, entrance here because I'll explain why in a second. So let's just take the schematic and then we can discuss why I'm doing it. Um, Okay, so we'll take it from. How f wide should it be? Um, do, 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 Let's do it from the center here. Pull it back a little bit. Okay, and then we'll drag it to the center of there. Oh, this go back a little bit. Sorry, talking on the phone uh, for a few 
minutes, uh, 45 minutes is just taking a toll on my voice a little bit. Um, okay, so, okay, so let's do that. Um, I'll explain the reason why I'm doing this, because I always wanted to, en well, I didn't always want two entrances, but I, I kind of wanted to maybe do two entrances. So we'll, we'll look at doing that now. Um, so just make sure we've got all this in the schematic. Make sure these turrets are all in. Fly over to the side. I'll show you exactly what I was doing. Um, uh, I was actually working while I was on the phone. Um, I was actually playing around with some things. Um, yeah, okay. Okay, yeah, that kind of works. I think that's everything I need. Okay, so we're going to save this now. Um, so, do, 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 do. Do we copy it? Oh no. Yeah, we copy it, don't we? Then we can save it. Uh, we'll call it um, main entrance full. So it's not like part of the main entrance or anything like that. It's the actual full. So we'll just deselect all this. Okay. And go back to the section of the world that we're actually looking at. I do realise as well that the flags need sorting out on this section over here. You won't be able to see it yourself now. Oh God, the camera goes all nuts. Oh, where the hell am I now? Um, yeah, there's a couple of flags that need changing around. Yeah, they're facing in the wrong direction. So what I did um, whilst I was off camera, so let me just let this load in. Come on. Oh, I forgot you could use space. See, that flag there is going in that direction. That one's going in that direction. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, they need changing. So what I did, basically, is... Um, as you can see, it looks a bit of a mess. Um, the idea was... Is I wanted to... I put the put the wall into a section, because it's not quite central. It, was, it would have been slightly longer on this side, which is not the end of the world. Um... Oh, my OCD kicked in a little bit and I was like Arr! so what I did is um, I had this all selected um, and then once it was uh, placed I um, changed the size of it so I, I narrowed the size of it down to here to there uh, so basically I, I, I cropped it a little bit but then I started thinking well actually I don't I want I wouldn't mind putting an entrance here so what we're going to do is we're going to look at doing that so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this so what, what actually what we'll need to do is um, I'm gonna have to do a jump cut so I can get rid of this bit of the wall and then we can start over with the entrance and see if we can get the entrance to fit in there a bit better. Okay, so jump cut. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. Okay, I keep saying welcome back even though for you it's just a literal jump cut like that. For me it's um, a little bit of time obviously passes by. Um, so let's have a look and see if we can fit this in. Um, what did we call it? Main entrance. I can't remember what we called it. Main entrance is full. What was it? Main entrance full. Oh, not that one. Okay, so whew, let's rotate this a little bit. Okay, this is more like it. Oh, beg your pardon. Got burpy burps. Just drank some um, soda. Right. Again, I don't think we're going to be able to get it to completely marry up. What we're gonna do though is we can we're gonna place it and we're gonna nudge it around a little bit. As you've seen in the other videos, we can nudge this to make it definitely fit. So we need to get it there. So nudge. And we need to push it back, I think it's about there. Is that right? Not sure. I think that's the sensor as well. Looks like the center. Oh no, it's a little bit offset again. It's not. It's again. It's not the end of the world. It's just if I really want to be OCD about it, then yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass that. But I can live with it. I can live with that. Um, do you know what I should have really done? I should have kept the shields on there. I wonder actually if. 
Mm, let's have a look at this. Let's just get rid of that. Okay, we'll do all this in one go. This is going to make a whole video, unfortunately, of me just dicking around doing this. But at least you get an idea of the kind of messing around I have to do. Just let this load, chunk load in. Oh, so that's weird, that. Even though it doesn't look like that in the actual game. Uh, right, okay, so we're going to get the whole... I wonder how... <sighs> Fats. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Messing you around here now. Let's get an idea of... I want this. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get um, a marker. Schematic. Okay, so we're going to save that. Should we save that like that? Um, yeah, in fact, we'll, we'll just copy it. Um, and then we can go over to here. Because we might as well just find out exactly how big the wall is compared to what we're actually trying to take a cut of. Just let me get rid of that. There we go. And then we can paste that section of the wall. Oh, shit. Sure. Oh, I didn't get the central part, did I? Um, we need to rotate it with E. So, if we get the centre to about there, again, it's going to be offset. We can't do anything about that at the moment. It's just the way that I mess around with the wall. So, there to there. Right, so if we take now, if we do this, we should be able to take a schematic of this section of the wall that will fit perfectly inside that section of the wall. So we're going to um, import that so it stays there because if it deselects it, then it'll just disappear. And we don't want that. Okay. Just wait for it to um, catch up. Okay. And then we're going to go all the way out there. And we're going to go up. Use some of the keys to get up. There we go. Because now we know that this is exactly the same size as the gap in the wall that we've got. And this is going to be the the other entrance, the second entrance to the building. Uh, push it in a little bit, we don't need it to be that big. Again, I've always said in the past, and I'll say it again, um, it's always worth making things... Big, like making make them bigger to start with, plus you actually try to find that you've made sure that you've got everything inside the actual schematic, but then make sure that you make everything to the exact same size because you don't want to be dragging in things that you don't want because you could end up getting rid of something by accident or overlapping onto something so always make sure you've got the exact dimensions start off bigger and then scrunch everything down so it's actually the size that you want it okay so we, that's the exact size that we want now so we're going to copy that rather than doing schematics we're going to copy it and we're going to go straight over to the section of the wall that we try to fill in also release the keys, the camera keys, so that I can actually get it to load the chunks in. Come on, whenever you're ready. Okay, here we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paste it in. So we'll use the paste function. I will also rotate it again, as always. Um, let me see what size the shields are on that side. Okay, so this should technically fit in perfect. Whether it does or not is a different story. So what we're going to do is we're going to get it so it's like nearly there. Just let me get it. Don't be doing this to me. Let me just jump out a little bit. There we go. If we get it to about there and then I can nudge it. Oh God, just, what are you doing? Oh, let's just do that and then we'll nudge it. We'll nudge it the rest of the way. Okay, let's have a look. So it definitely needs to be nudged in that direction. So we can use the A key there. Oh, no, I want to nudge it, sorry. Right. And then it needs to go down as well because it's actually a step higher than normal. Um, I think the key for that is Z. Need to nudge, obviously. 
Mizzard. There we go. Um, we're going to have double crenellations on both sides, it would seem. Oh no, just on one side, which always makes it, uh, makes it a bit painful sometimes, that. Because the continuity just goes out a little bit. It's, well, it's not continuity, it's just basically you know that you didn't quite make it perfect. But unless I do the whole thing over again, then there's not really much I can do about that. Um, I mean, I could look at altering it a little bit. Well, no, actually, there's no way I can get around that. Um, do you know what, actually? I think that'll do. Yeah. Um, I know it's got a double crenellation on that side, but it's not the end of the world. It's not going to ruin the whole kind of thing. It's a bit of a pain in the ass, but I would have to literally... If I wanted to, in fact, I could, I could, I could do it. Um, let's have a look at how hard it would be to do. Um, just let me input that. Can we input in this now? Because what I could technically do, um, let me just deselect it. Okay, right. So again, all the things that are in dark colours are things that haven't been saved yet. So what we could do, technically, possibly speaking, is we could move this whole section of this part of the wall all the way off into the part, like the distance there, and we could move it across one block. Um, we can have a look at try to do that now. Let's see, let's see how easy it's going to be. Um, so we need to select from that to there. Um, yeah, so there to there. We'll come out a bit, obviously. Go wide. Let's see if we can do it. It'll be fun to see if we can do it, actually. If we can get it to move across one block, then we can actually have it sitting central. And my OCD will feel better. Um, it's just quite a big task, actually, to be fair. Um, well, it seems like a big task, but it's not that huge. Just means I have to make some alterations on the wall on both sides. And we're getting a look about how big it is here now. Again, I have to stop the camera every so often just so it can catch up. It's not the most powerful computer in the world. Hoping, hoping to get a new computer at some point. I'd love to get a new computer actually. But they're not cheap. Okay, come on. Is that the end bit of the wall? Is that the, the end bit? Surely not. So I've just got to wait for the chunks to load up. Waiting, 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 waiting. Okay, so what we could do from this point is put the wall put this wall back here to up there. Um, Rise in the air, raise the roof, as it were, and then we could nudge this once. Oh yeah, because then this part of the wall will be wrong. Oh no, God, you didn't think that one through, did you, Graham? Because if I do that, then this part of the wall will have two granulations next to each other. Oh yeah, it can't be done. Can't be done. I can't have both. So I either have this wall with normal crenellations or I have the other wall bit with normal cren uh, with double oh, it's, it's not the end of the world, is it? Is it the end of the world? I'd hope it's not the end of the world. I can't do everything. I can't redesign the whole bloody building totally. No, do you know what actually? There's no way around that. There's no real way around that. The the biggest mistake I made, um I'll show you where the mistake happened. But it's not really a mistake, it's just one of those things that happens but you don't actually think at the time. So let's just get this all loaded in. Come on, load in. Um, the mistake would have happened, well not a mistake, like I say, um, it's the how long this wall is to the side here, this cutting wall. Literally, if, if that, that cutting wall there had been made... Let's just let me get rid of all this bloody... 
slashing and stuff. This cut in the bit of the wall here. If it had been made one block, would it have been one block? No, it wouldn't have been. Oh, I don't even know anymore. Yeah, I mean, sorry. If this part of the wall here had been made one block further in, then it would have worked. But then these wouldn't have matched. Yeah, do you know what? It's I could look at this a million times and just think um, the many, many reasons why it is the way it is. But it's, it is the way it is now. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to change the flags over. And then we're going to have a look at how it looks. Um, so, the flags all need to be facing that way, which is that one, I do believe. They need to be facing to the right, if you're looking at the front of the building. I think they do anyway, God. This is such a jerky video. Me messing around with this stuff. Come on, load in, for piss sakes. Yeah, right. So everything needs to go that way. So that flag needs changing. Which I can do right now. All the flags are all wrong way around. <coughs> Big pun. Just had a bit of a... Um, bit of a burp there. Okay. There we go, flag schematic. Okay, so we need to flag to go. To, oh God, this is a pain in the ass as well. From what I remember, um, it needs to go to the the left, sort of thing. I need to deselect this. I thought I was cutting that off. Apparently, I didn't cut the whole flag out. Oh, stop doing that. Sorry. Just delete it. Thank you. I can deselect. So I can actually see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, this is so much fun for you guys, isn't it? I mean, this is why people watch my videos. To watch me dicking around with things like this. I do apologise. It's not the most entertaining video ever. But I just want to get these walls finished and then at least we can look at, um, so we need to, yeah, we can look at um, actually starting to work on the video, uh, sorry, the uh, build proper. Uh, we need to rotate it. Uh, let's have it that way. Yeah, let's have it that way. Is that married up to the um, pole though? Yes, it is. Yeah, that'll do. And then we need to do another one over here. Oh, God. We'll import that one first before we do anything else. That'll come back back to bite us in the arse if we don't do that. Um, I forgot that when you do this with these flags, you need to drag out the walls a little bit because I oh, just do that because the flags are I wouldn't say three dimensional. Well, they are in a sense three dimensional because they've got um, widths and heights and length. Um, so let's just. Cut that out. Delete that. Yeah, we need to import flag. Oh, the fun, the fun, the fun, the fun, the fun, the fun. It needs to face this way, so we need to. Where the hell's that gone? Yeah, we need to rotate it. I don't know why it's over there. Oh god damn it. Sorry, I'm I'm quite a normally a quite a happy person, but this is just doing my head in now. Deselect. Uh, if you get it to there. Sorry, I'm so terrible at this, I really am. And I'm not feeling at my best to be fair. I'm quite ill. Not really quite ill, I'm just a bit meh. Let's rotate it again and we'll have one that way and then we'll just zoom in a little bit. We need to just add it to the flagpole. There we go. And that's facing in the right direction. Okay, so import that. So much cheating. And uh, that one's already facing the right direction. And all the rest should be facing the right direction, though. If 
if that's all the flags should be facing that way. Okay, so what we're going to do is, um, I think that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, like I say, we can't do anything about those two crenellations on the other side there. It's just the way it's going to have to be. So, we'll do a... I don't think I need to... Do I need to do that? Export? Do I need to export? No, I don't need to do that. Um, right, okay. I can deselect it though. Uh, so I make sure that everything's been saved the way I want it. All the flags are done. Okay. So the next video, what I will do now is the next part of the video, sorry, is um, I will do a big flyby. It'll take about four hours to record. Um, I'll use the cinematic thing, blah, 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 thing, magic, um, which would take me up to about. It's now eight minutes past six p.m., obviously. Um, GMT. Um, that'll take me to about 10 o'clock um, and then I'll just get it all rendered up and then we can um, yeah and then we'll finalize I'll do my um, goodbye speech as usual uh, but we'll do a proper full flyby of the whole um, fortress um, and we can have a look at exactly what's gonna happen next the whole idea next actually is because now we've got the basis of the the you know the scale the size of it we can actually look at putting it into a map um, but the map is going to be very, very structured. We're going to have to do a lot of changes, landscaping, yeah. But anyway, I'll explain all this in more detail once um, we've got the uh, rendering, the, the cinematic thing, you know, done. Um, that takes forever to do, unfortunately. I mean, we're talking about a one minute video and it'll take about four hours to actual record. Um, which is it's, it's, yeah. I need to get a faster computer. I need to buy a faster computer. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control save. So we're saving all the chunks now. Um, yeah, so what will happen now is... God, it's going to take longer and longer to save all this stuff. I'll set up the recording now. Um, well, what I'll do actually first is um, we'll do a quick jump cut now. I'll use Minecraft and then we can actually see what it all looks like. Okay, so I'll catch you in a second after the jump cut. Okay, yeah, so I'm about to start the um, cinematic view of everything. What I need to do is just clean up a little bit so that you can actually, um, so you don't have all these marker points looking around. But yeah, I mean, this is the wall that we've just finished. Um, I think it looks okay, actually. Nice short wall for the, um, for the, I don't know, I mean, should that main entrance be the north, south, or I don't know, I don't even know what side I'm facing, actually, I haven't got a compass. Um... Not that a compass in uh, Minecraft actually shows you anything like that. But, um, yeah. So, we're going to start a cinematic in a moment. And I'm going to go and play some PS3 games or something, I don't know. Maybe some on Steam on my laptop. Because, um, like I say, it takes forever to do. And, it, yeah, but it's something I like doing. Um, it's something I think is quite interesting. I mean, the, again, the shields are not quite central, but they're not. But they 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 enough distance away from the gate to actually make it is fine. I, I kind of worry a little bit too much about this kind of stuff. Um, these little aesthetics, but on, on the whole, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't look too bad at all. So yeah, so we'll do a cinematic now, and then we'll have a look at the full scale of things, and yeah, and then on the next video we can start looking at. Moving it, um, we're going to look at the whole process of flushing it out. In the sense of, uh, I might recap over a lot of this on the um, on the schematic view. Well, sorry, the um, cinematic view when we run around the whole place. But uh, we're going to look at taking. We're going to go into different worlds. We're going to pick out a mountain that looks really cool, or a valley that looks really cool, or a, a, an area of grassland that looks really cool. And we're going to take schematics of all these places and then we're going to build our own world um, and then yeah we're going to get really kind of creative with it and once we've built the whole world around around the actual structure itself oh, sorry burp then we can actually look at doing all the work inside which is going to be massive work but totally worth it totally worth it I mean um, we're looking at a good I don't know six months work easily Depending on my uh, workload of doing other things, but um, I reckon about six months and we'll have a full city. Um, but it should be cool, anyway. So yes, yeah, so, um, yeah. So 
gonna do the jump cut now. I'm gonna record that, and then I'll give I'll say my goodbyes on that. So yeah, see you in a sec. Hi guys. Okay. Um, due to the recent updates, it does seem that I can't actually um use some of the mods. Uh, well, the cinematic mod at the moment, uh, which is a bit of a pain, but you know it's not the end of the world. So I'll do my goodbyes now, and then I'll try and get one up. So what we're gonna do is do a flyby of the whole structure, so you get an idea of the scale of things. Um, yeah, so uh, thank you for watching as always. Um, if you're new to the series, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe. If you're a follower of the series, uh, please keep following. Um, there's lots more to come. I've got a lot of work to do. Um, this building is going to take a long time to get sorted. Um, but yeah, at least we've got an outer wall now. Uh, like I said in the last part of the video, last section um I will, oh, basically what we want to do um is we want to go into different worlds i'll show in fact i'll show you exactly what we're going to be doing um and you get an idea of exactly where we're coming from or where i'm coming from but you guys are with me on the journey so you know we'll say it was we us and yeah so you're getting an idea of the, the size of the structure now it's huge it's got now it's got two doorways into it which is pretty cool uh, door two gateways. Um, can you still see the back end? Right, oh, it starts getting unloaded there. But you're starting to get an idea of the scale. Um, to fill this out is going to be a massive task. It's not going to be that bad actually. Um, it always seems like it's going to be that bad, but it's not going to be that bad. Um, you you put in a big cathedral, you put in an, a big keep. Um, then you do like a districts, so you do like a, a poor district, you do a rich district, you do a merchant's district. Um, yeah, you know, you, we go, we'll fill it out, we'll flush it out. And then obviously, like we did with the um, the city build, we'll definitely um, have it up for download as well, so you can download the city yourself and play with it. But yeah, I mean, it's coming along, but I think the the big challenge is going to be next is the simple fact that we want to... Try to see if I can get this to load in without that bit disappearing. Oh, can we do it? Possibly. Nail it. Sort of. Kind of. Uh, we almost got a full picture of the actual builder. If I go this way a bit more now. Oh, no, we lost it. We lost it. But anyway, you get the idea. So, yeah. So, I'm going to give you a quick run through now of exactly what we're going to do with the other stuff. So, I'll just save and quit that title. Single player. So I have quite a few different saves here. Um, natural Harbour. Bah, 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 bah. So Natural Harbour. Um, I want some sort of a harbour area, but it's going to be in a certain area. Uh, it's not a certain area, but a certain place uh, near the map. So I wanted um, like something like this. Um, but these are just these are literally things that I've just found. Um, nice little harbour bays. Um, obviously it wouldn't look like this within the game because I would flatten all this out and then I'd probably create a wooden wharf around there but it's like a nice little natural harbour you know, do you get the idea so like ships can come in here and come back out and blah 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 so yeah, so that's one of the um, places that I found um, basically all I do to do this is I go, I, I generate um, seeds for maps and then I um, have a look around um, to see if there's anything that's actually like worth looking at, and then basically I save whilst I'm looking at that place. So a large sinkhole here. Um, yeah, so there's a large sinkhole there that I might use. So something I could, I can always MC edit, MC edit it, and then use it in something. Um, but maybe create um, a long line of. Well, that's the thing you see. This is the reason why I do them. I don't know what I use it for. But it's there, and the reason why I do this rather than just try to create them myself is because it's it doesn't it's very hard to make things look natural. If you, if you try to um, if you try to make um, something like say um, a canyon or something like that, it's very hard to make it look natural. Um, whereas Minecraft does it so well, it makes it look like it's a natural Minecraft build. So basically, the easiest thing to do is go into a world, click on one of them, um, and then say, do you know what? Actually, I want that bit look at that and then take a MC edit of it, cut it out and then put it into your own world. So that's the reason why I'm doing this. I mean, like I say, I've only, I've only done a couple now. Um, just just give myself an idea of like little bits of, oh, I might add that in, I might do that. But the, idea, the whole idea is I'm going to completely change, you know, the, the, original, the world that I actually picked to put this fortress into will be completely transformed and terraformed even 
into something that I can use. So yeah, so that gives you an idea of exactly what we're going to be doing. Um, it's, again, so thank you so much for watching. Um, on the next video, we're going to look at um, we're going to look at well, we're going to actually start building the landscape. So we're going to pick a world. Um, we're going to flatten it out a little bit so that it actually um, you know. It, well, in fact, we'll flatten out a, a, a mass major, like majority of an area, and then we'll start building it up. We'll put oceans in there. We'll put water in there. We'll do, but I'll do it all step by step with you guys. So every every part of the video, I will try and get in there. I'll show you where I'm going to use MC Edit, and I'll I'll try adding in structures. Um, the the one thing we would do actually, um, I should say, is um one thing I was thinking of earlier. Um, no, we don't want that. We want the fortress build. We'll just build. Um, what we will do actually is get this now. Let's just drop down to the floor. Where the hell am I? Seems to have lost my building. No, it's still there. Um, yeah, so what we'll probably do is. Well, what we need to do is because the, um, the fortress is going to be higher. Um, like then the normal like this this ground here is just base level like sea level basically um, what we want what i want to do is um raise the city so it's a lot higher so the city will probably raise up to about a little bit higher than that flag so the whole city what i'm going to do is um i'll use mc edit and i'll raise the city up so that um it's about as high as that flag maybe a bit higher and then i'll fill all everything in below it with stone so it's got a stone base and then what we can do is we can input that into a world then and we can build mountains and stuff around it um, the reason why I'm doing it like that is because I have an idea for the entrance that I want to do uh, which I think I discussed in one of the other videos where I want to do a viaduct sort of entrance um, but yeah so this is this is again it's just a lot of work to do a lot of work in progress um, but on the next video we'll try and get some of that stuff sorted out so thank you so much for watching as always uh, thank you so much for watching the series um, if you if you appreciate it, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and yeah, so that's it really. So take care of yourselves, guys, and goodbye.